Hey guys, I'm bringing you a horrendous zombies gameplay because this game mode is so bad, it makes the mobile zombies look good. If you guys remember in COD, mobile it had zombies in it. It makes that look good. Just my opinion, but Treyarch should really be ashamed of this game mode. I know I gave Cold War a ton of shit last year, but I always said the one thing that was great in that game was zombies. You know, I liked Outbreak, looting things, killing things on this big map, and getting missions done with your friends. It was fun. I also liked the zombies round-based mode, the normal zombies round-based mode. Though I can't say anything about the last map because I didn't play it, but, you know, still, it was an overall good mode. This here is horrible. For starters, I didn't mind hearing that there was only going to be one map at the start, but what I do mind is no round base at all. Round base has been in zombies since I could ever remember, and yeah, there are rounds in this mode, but it's like they tried to make a small version of Outbreak mixed with round base. Because the rounds don't change unless you finish an objective. Another thing is there is no Pack-a-Punch camo. And instead of costing the normal 5,000 points that it normally costs to pack a puncher gun, it now costs 7,500 points. Yeah, I think I heard that there was going to be a patch that fixes the no pack a punch camo, but still, out of launch, that should be in the game. Plus, they didn't even put in legendary objectives in the Covenant until the first patch. There was a bug that when someone was revived in the hub, they would take damage over time and despite not being attacked by anything and would constantly go down and they just fixed a bug that prevented people who were being revived in the hub you know being unable to use the field upgrades after being revived now you can see right here i'm doing this one mission mode after this is done we get teleported back to the hub which is what, you know, the main area is called that you first get into where you can build your stuff and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's just, it's weird. I go over a bunch of things from the patch in my last video, so please be sure to make, make sure to go check that video out. It's well worth a lot of the hassle of trying to clear it out in this video. But even with these patches in the game mode, it's still the worst in the game. I promise, I'm going to go over some of the good things in Vanguard soon, but I really want to get this video out discussing how bad this was first. The Treyarch should be ashamed by what they put out this year. I don't know how they're going to add on to the zombies this year, but they need to do a complete overhaul on this mode, and I think the majority of the player base would agree. I mean, there are things you can see that makes you know Treyarch did zombies, such as the max ammo, the mystery box, and, you know, the kaboom, the nuke, you know. I didn't even hear, when I pick up the nuke, I didn't even hear it say kaboom like it normally does. I heard it maybe once in this game mode. So I, I say it is there, but it's not, like, normal like it used to be. But this still does not feel like a zombies map that we're all used to. You know, also, cutting out round base cuts out a big part of the player base because so many people love to see what is the highest round that they can get to and it's fun to play with your friends on rounds but this has no incentive to go to high rounds because if you basically you basically finish things or get bored of things by the eighth round and you exfil speaking of which i show you what the exfil is in this game because it's not getting to a helicopter like last game in Cold War, but rather you go to a portal and uh, you don't even leave the map. You just stand in front of the portal and it ends. It's so horrible. It feels so unfinished. It just feels like it was rushed, put together, and said, Oh, well, this is the best we can come up with. Here you go. When, no, it's not. You've come up with better way before in the past. You know, the ideas are there that we like. Everything from the past games, that's what we like. You know, at least in the last game, I, sh you know, it's actually leaving the map after you hexville in the last game. But this one, you know, again, it just feels unfinished. It feels unfinished. It feels clunky. There's still way too many bugs even after the first patch. You know, it's, it's just, it's crazy. 
you know, I think I can say that me and a lot of the player base for Zombies are really disappointed in the Zombies mode this year. And Treyarch is going to have to do something really big to either fix this mode. They're either going to have to completely overhaul it and just say, hey, you know, sorry, my bad. Oh, sorry, we didn't do too well with this. So, you know, here's our new map and it's completely like the last ones and all that. Or they're going to have to put something in the game mode that's really impressive. I mean, this just shows that to me, it makes me feel like Treyarch didn't care at all. You know, you go to these, in this one, you go to these little portals for your missions and everything. And when you finish the missions, you unlock areas. As you can see, that was like a locked area right there. But you finish these missions and it opens up more of the map. But once you get the map fully open, there's no reason to continue playing. And on top of that, the voice acting is so horrendous. It's cringy at all the way. I, I'm so tired of hearing my person say, Ah, Vita is saying to your face. It's so annoying. And then you have uh, the guy who's supposed to be, I guess, Hitler talking to you saying, that, Oh, no, he's I'm going to be in control of you when you die. And, you know, it's just annoying. And I guess these are supposed to be gods or deities in this realm that you're listening to or helping out in this matter you know i'm not sure because it's horrible another thing is there's no easter egg <laughs> there's no easter egg the easter egg won't even come until 2022 now yes treyarch usually delays the easter egg by a little bit by a little bit not by like a whole, you know, half a year, or not half a year, but you, you get what I mean. They don't delay it months on end. It's usually, you know, hey, you know, a week has gone by. We're releasing the Easter egg in that. I mean, they did that with Dime Machine from uh, Cold War. So there's no reason to delay it this long other than the fact that they know it's really really bad and glitchy overall this game mode comes from a developing team a triple a developing team that we're used to getting really good zombies game modes and maybe we just took it for granted maybe we just took the game modes for granted but when you're you're putting out something that's essentially the same thing. There's no reason to mess up. There's no excuses. It's half-assed and it's lazy. And that's what the whole Treyarch developing team for this Zombies mode showed us is, you know, they don't care anymore. So, you know, it, it's just, it's absolutely crazy. A couple things that I think that they can do to fix these game modes, or, or at least this game mode at least, put back round base zombies. Put back the normal round base. Stop trying to make exfil, or, or, or not exfil, but stop trying to put make outbreak in with round base. Outbreak is its own thing. Okay? Outbreak does not need to continue to be a big thing in every Call of Duty. If you want to continue Outbreak, that's cool, fine. Continue Outbreak with different maps, that's fine. But don't cut out the round base. Because you're cutting out a big, big part of your gamer base. And putting it on a game that you're not the main dev team on is kind of scummy. Because you know that, hey, Sledgehammer Games didn't make zombies. That was Treyarch. They teamed up with Sledgehammer Games and did zombies for this game mode. You know, your name is still tied to it. So, if someone was trying to pull a scummy tactic and say, well, no, Black Ops Zombies is going to be the best, so we're going to make World War II or, you know, Vanguard Zombies suck, that's scummy. It's scummy, it's vile, and it's not right. Your name is still tied to the Zombies mode, and everyone knows you teamed up and you did the Zombies mode, while Sledgehammer Games did multiplayer and campaign. 
and you know i'm just i'm i'm highly disappointed i really am it seems that you know the days of our normal zombies gameplay is gone unless treyarch brings it back you know i go ahead and speed through this because right here i show you where you got to actually you got to go to that room and you know completely kill these things which in the last patch they you know they shortened the number of kills you had to get for exfil to happen so you actually have to hit a kill limit before X you can even exfil and here we hit the exfil and we go to the portal and you'll see we don't leave the map we just stand in the portal hear them talking our ear off it's it's stupid here i hit exfil and we sit there all the zombies die you don't even leave the map you know it's crazy anyways i'm almost out of time guys um you know make sure you guys like the video if you like the video uh dislike if you dislike it subscribe to the channel and let's see if we can get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year treyarch you should be ashamed of yourself definitely ashamed of yourself this game mode is trash enough said